Philadelphia plays host for this NFC versus AFC matchup between the Houston Texans and the Philadelphia Eagles. Back in your days when you had to take on a team from the AFC, didn't know them all that well. What was it like as we have this little interconference matchup today? Well, I thought back in those days, Jim, we were about ready to show them what toughness and hard hitting was. Uh, today it's a little different, but I'll tell you this, this NFC team, they are a hard hitting bunch. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. Always a threat, and he'll start his return now. Spins away from contact. Offense lines up here. Get ready. Break the yard. Break the yard. Three, 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 three. First and ten. Right where it had to be. It is truly the unstoppable play right now in the NFL. The back shoulder throw. How about that play? A back shoulder throw on a post route. Nice job. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Ben Tate now with the carry. Nice tackle. They've marched right onto the field with this opening drive, and they're moving the chains with regularity. They sure are, and I think it's time for the defense to quit sitting in there in that bland defensive running, take a chance and try to stop this drive. First and 10. On the run. Trent Cole gets to the quarterback. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. And now they'll try over again on second down. but he's beyond the first down marker. Yeah, we got the mojo flowing today, don't we? You start out the game, it's early. You pick up a couple first downs, and you think you can't be stopped. The Houston Texans were cruising along a year ago, looking like the number one seed for the... And he's intercepted. And he spins away, shrugs off the first hit. That'll stop the play right there. Well, that's a rough way to get the game started, isn't it, Phil? Come out and throw an early pick. Oh, it is. It's a terrible way to start for the quarterback and everybody involved. But I'll tell you this, I think it was a terrible call. So the quarterback, when the play's not there, throw it away. He took a chance, and that's why it was intercepted. The Texans sat at the line. Dime package. They run right. And that picks up three. Well, when you're going to run the football, that's your objective. You cannot get frustrated by short runs. You know that it's going to build itself as the game goes along. So keep trying. Going off tackle here. I know they want to come out and establish the run, but boy, this defense right now is not bending. Well, they're doing a good job so far, the defense, but on the offensive side, stay patient, keep pounding that football, and hopefully you can wear this defense down as the game goes along. Third and six. Fix looking long. Interception. They've got him down there. Jim, this defense is just attacking today. They got the offense backed up. They go after them. They're aggressive. And what does it do for them? It gets them an interception inside the opponent's 20-yard line. Three. 
plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Let's go! Throwing now to his left. Gary Williams has the pick. He's brought to a halt. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. down here. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. And he's brought to the ground. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Jackson's a receiver in the slot. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Kind of refreshing to watch, isn't it? To see a team that has faith, the toughness, and the patience to just keep running the football, grinding out these first downs. Resting their defense and tiring out the opponent's defense. When you see long runs like that by a running back, a lot of things have to happen. Of course, he has good vision and he has talent. But how about those blocks down the field, those blocks in the secondary? That's what creates long runs. First down following the long play. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. When you have defensive ends that like to go up the field and they think they're going to get to the quarterback, you know what you do to those kind of defensive ends? You run draw plays and screens underneath them. Take advantage of the fact that they're not reading their keys. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. McCoy's shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. Makes the grab. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. I like this play call this time. They go for it on fourth and short, and they call the right play, and they pick up the first down. lined up in the pistol formation first and ten looking to scramble he's got some daylight nowhere else to go and he's out of bounds Let's see how they back up the big play here. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They almost pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. This drive now about to reach the 10th play of the series. Going to lose yards here. Well, Jim, they didn't fool the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third and short. Then you lose yards, third longs. They're hard to get in the NFL. Third down and 11. He'll fire it out to the left. That ball is picked off. In on the stop. Most NFL linebackers, they're borderline good enough to be a running back. And they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. Three, three. 
Matt Schaub has it under center. First down and 10. Then picks up about three. That's a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Breaks the tackle. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage. And you just you just played right into their hands, and they got the tackle for the loss. Quarters formation here Let's for go. the defense. Third and seven. Scrambling out of the pocket. Incompletion on that hurry throw. That time, awesome job by avoiding the sack by the quarterback. Gets out of trouble, gets outside. Hey, even though he doesn't get a completion, good job avoiding the negative yards. The Texans are at the line of scrimmage and loading up that line with an extra tight end. Brings it in. Bill, that was some kind of risky play on fourth down, and it doesn't pay off. Jim, I don't understand the decision. Why would you go for it on fourth down, backed up against your own end zone? Terrible decision. Split backfield here. Now first and ten. Brings it into his body. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. The second quarter is underway with this snap. And here we have second down. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. If they do, of course, it'll be a touchdown. And there's a sideline pass incomplete. It's ruled. Big decision for the coach this time, Jim. You failed on third and go. What do you do? Do you go for it? I say you call the play and you try to put up seven points. Offense lines up here, fourth and goal from here. So that's not going to get it done here, and the offense is going to turn it over on downs. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? That was just bad play calling, bad execution, and go to the sideline. That's where you deserve to be. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. The throw to the left, and it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Second down after the incompletion. Looking across the middle, ball is out. Recovery by the offense. There's always a rule on the offensive side when the football is fumbled. Little guys pick it up, 
fat guys fall on it. Don't try to pick it up if you're one of the fat guys. That time they get it done and recover their own fumble. Third and one. Throws the pass. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. First and ten. Reaches out and snatches it. Zone defense doesn't work in the NFL like it used to. Good job by the quarterback reading that zone and finding the open guy. Griffins shifted out wide to the left as a receiver. Second and six. The handoff to Ben Tate. Right side, taking off. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Texans team official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Gary Kubiak on the sidelines for the Houston Texans, a Houston hometown boy who's been in charge now of the Texans for quite a while. Yeah, he's done a good job with this organization. One of his first moves was to go out and get Mad Schaub. That has paid off big time for Gary Kubiak. And I think the team has had enough success and the failures in the playoffs. I think that's going to, it's tough for them up, Jim, and I expect them to be a better football team because of that. They've got a first down now after that catch. Trying to work that left side. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. This will be the eighth play of this drive. First and ten. Tate's going to take the handoff now. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Mounting a serious drive. First and ten, Schaub's play action. Working that left side. Forgot to catch the football. You don't see it often in today's game. These gloves, these wide receivers wear. My gosh, anybody could catch it. I don't know how he dropped it. Offense heading to the line for the 11th play of the drive. He'll fire it out to the left. Good piece of tackling. Good job by the play caller that time. Calling for the short pass. Even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, draw plays, screen plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half.
This has been a long drive so far. Ben Tate now with the carry. Up the middle. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. drive this has been first and goal looks to his left he steps out drive continues second and goal from the eight eyeing that left side not much you can say about that incompletion the receiver was open the quarterback just made a bad throw good decision but a terrible throw After play after play here on this drive. Third and goal from the eight. It's tight down here in the red zone. So if you're a defender, read the quarterback. You make a quick break on the football. Hey, you get in position like this, and you can knock it down. here with a 4-6 formation. Now or never, fourth and goal. He's in for the score. That time on fourth and goal, the offense goes for it. The defense is all excited. They want to try to stop them, and they make bad mistakes and give up the touchdown. The Texans with an extra point try on the way. Driving extra point is good. Texas getting ready to kick it away. Turn ends rather quietly short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 16. It's first down as they head to the line. McCoy. Picks up about four. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Second down. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Tackles made. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs.
Eagle, Eagle. First down here. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And incomplete. Bad job that time by the quarterback. He misses the receiver on the slant route. When you're throwing the slant route, you got to throw it right into the stomach of the receiver so it's easy for him to make the catch and he can protect himself also. Jackson's lined up in the slot. Second down at 10. Throws to the right. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Let's just tell it like it is, Jim Nance. His receiver's not a very tough guy because he gets hit. It should have been a complete pass, but he gets hit. He just throws that football on the ground, and the pass is incomplete. Macklin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Third and ten. And he makes the catch just past the first down marker. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. Michael Vick will be under center. Back to the air here on first down and slides to a stop. This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator, just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. That pass play picks up a first down. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. First and ten. Throwing now to his left. Off the mark here as this throw heads out of bounds. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Second and ten. The quarterback will hand it off. And he'll step out of bounds. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim. They're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. First down here after the run. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Got what he wanted. Touchdown. Well, the offensive line did it all on this drive, didn't they? Here it is on first and goal. Nice job of pass blocking. And the quarterback finds the open receiver for the touchdown. And the point after is good. The Texans ready to take that football down the field. He's got a chance to return this one.
Read that Let's defense go. here, trying to avoid the deep pass. Play fake here. Job going down the field. Intercepted. And that will close out the first half here. The city of brotherly love will be back after halftime to Philadelphia for the beginning of the second half. The Eagles are prepared to return to kickoff. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Offense lines up here. Second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. It's now second down and seven after the three yard rush. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Well, it's so hard to do this nowadays to jar the football out of the hands of the receiver, but the defender did it that time. He hit him, that football came loose, incomplete pass. Michael Vick will be under center. Third and seven. Screen play is on. So a three and out. Well, we see it more and more. Football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. The Texans come out in a dime package. Flip to the outside. Challenging the defenders to the right side. When you decide to go for it on fourth down as a head coach, You've got to realize that you're going to be one of two things. You're going to be a genius or an idiot. And if you don't make it, look out. The second guessing begins. has it under center first and ten will go ground now the offense is down here in the red zone or the green zone if you like to think of money and it's a tie game a lot of things you can do they love to throw it in the end zone but maybe they'll cross them up with a run we'll find out and he's going to be brought down well that's a sign of a good defense when you can sack the quarterback when you're just rushing the defensive lineman you don't need any tricks you don't need any blitzes man that's talent let's go Job sells the play fake and looks downfield. Very nearly intercepted. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations.
corners formation here for the defense. Graham's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. When we were at practice on Friday, Jim, this team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. We'll see if all that practice pays off. Looking to go up top again on first down. The ball is jarred loose. He stacked up at that point. You gotta protect the football on the offensive side. You don't protect it the way these defensive players can run. You're gonna get in trouble at that time it results in a fumble. Cooper's gonna get set in the slot for this snap. First and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, that pass is incomplete, Jim, but that's just a terrible job by the quarterback. When they're running the slant route, just throw it right at their stomach. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Vick in shotgun formation. Catch is made. That brings the play to an end. Nice job by the quarterback finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. Offense lines up here. Third down and eight. He'll fire it out to the left. Ball's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Looks like they'll go three and out on this series. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. in the slot. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The Texans turn the ball over on downs. Well, I kind of admire that. You know, sometimes you got to take a chance in football. You can't be afraid to lose. When you go forward on fourth down, deep in your own territory, well, I say you're not afraid to lose. to the right makes the reception good play call that time by the offensive coordinator down inside when you're inside that 20 yard line or the red zone find ways to complete the pass they did that time Tate's lined up as the single back the handoff to Ben Tate and that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage always manage the football game you got to be thinking about it all the time if you're the quarterback it's a tie game you're down in here in the red zone be careful with the football. You at least want to get three points out of this. Johnson's a receiver in the slot. Shav gets it over to Andre Johnson. Nice roll that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion. And there's some tight spots, not a lot of room, so you got to really drive the football in there.
First down here after the completion. Teams in the NFL spend about 30, 40% of their time all week long practicing plays in the red zone. So there's a lot they can do here. Let's see if they come up with something that works. It's now second down. Going across the middle. Well, when you have a tie game and you're down in the red zone, you can do whatever you want. You can fool them with the run here, or you can take a chance and throw the football in the end zone to get a score. Offense lines up here. Third and goal at the six. He'll throw it over the middle. He had no time to get set. <laughs> Offense lines up here. Fourth down. It's now or never. Texas in for the score. The head coach decides he wants to be the aggressor in this situation. On fourth and goal, he goes for it. Nice play call that time. The Texans now will tack on the extra point. Count it. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Now in first down. Looking across the middle, ball's thrown incomplete. Great coverage there by the defense. I think this is one of the easier throws in the NFL. Don't make the mistake throwing it up the field. Throw it across the field so the receiver can run to it. That time the quarterback leads the receiver way too far on the post route. McCoy's out in the slot. Second and ten. Throws the pass. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. That's a huge third down conversion, especially after all of the failures leading up to this point. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Looking to the right side and throwing. And now will be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. That's second down coming up. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. The throw to the left. Cooper's got it on a pass that had some heat. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. 
after the long gain. Let's see what they do here. Heading right. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. you got to find a way to score a touchdown. Second down here after that run play. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Jackson's lined up in the slot. Third down and four. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. It is game now. It's just so spread out. Everybody is so fast. You just can't avoid it. Concussions are just part of the game, and uh, I hope he's okay. They step up to the nine-yard line. That reception gave them the first down. Trying to get it outside before the defense is set. A tackle behind the line. The Eagles are still in possession as we get this final quarter underway. Sean McCoy is in the backfield. The final quarter begins with this snap. Gets away from the pressure. Challenging that the ball's picked off. He's brought down. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. Tate's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Ben Tate now with the carry. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Coming up, second down. To the ground here. And that last play made by Pat Chung. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Now third and four following the run. They're going to get him this time. When you're the quarterback and you see a blitz, you got to know you got to drop back, look at a receiver, and let it go. No hesitation is allowed. He hesitates, and the defense gets the set. That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. Well, when you go for it on fourth down deep in your own territory and you don't get it, you deserve to lose. On first down. Getting away from the pressure. They're going to get him here for a sack. The name of the game is hit the guy with the football. The quarterback has it. The defensive end, what a job by him. 
gets by the tackle and sacks the QB. Second and 13. Oh, bad decision that time by the quarterback. He tries to force the football into the end zone, and it almost gets picked off by the defense. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Third and 13. He's looking to the touchdown. Philadelphia Eagles. Terrible job that time by the defense. Third goal. They're expecting pass, and they still can't stop it. This defense is just not fast enough to stop those touchdown passes. Now with the extra point to tie the game. And it's a fake. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. The Texans ready to receive the kick. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. under center first and ten the give they tackle him for a loss so many things you can do on first down and what do you come up you come up with that play that was just a bad play call Let's go. Three, 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 three. Let's go. second and 12 the handoff to Ben Tate this doesn't look good we've got a player down and he's in pain that's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. <laughs> Following the run, it's now third and seven. Play action. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Incomplete and almost intercepted. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run a route like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on a line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. Lines up here. Shabs turning to look downfield now after selling the play fake. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game and they are tiring this defense out. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Will run it. Here's the handoff. Runs out of bounds. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Sets them up here on this play. On first down, it's back to the ground game. I think you got to be a little more creative in the red zone than this. When you just line up and run the football like that, you're not going to get a lot of yards. And that time, they just got a short game. Let's go! 
The defense needs a big stop here in order to give the offense a chance as we're running low on time in this one. It's going to get harder and harder in the NFL to score when you get close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They, they better be creative. That's all I know. Well, as the clock is winding down, the offense would like to just run it out. Third and goal to go from the two. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. to go. And he takes it across. It is a touchdown. This is why a head coach gets paid so much money. You get in situations like this, they have to make the call on fourth and go. He goes for it, and they get it. The Texans for the extra point. The point after is good. Ready to swing his leg as aggressively as possible and send the football down to the end zone. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. Got a flag down here. Boy, his head got yanked back the other way. An obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. Time to this one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. This is a time where the quarterback has to manage the clock, has to be very careful. Trailing, needing points to get back into this one. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Is a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Gains 15. When you play zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer. But these guys nowadays, when you play zone, they know how to throw and catch and get it done. Challenges the coverage and has the completion. Well, you get a couple first downs. It just gives you such great confidence. It makes everybody relax. And I always say this, when you're a relaxed athlete, that's when you play your best. Throws to the right. And for about six. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. Offense lines up here. McCoy is handed the football. Touchdown. This game is tight. Oh, it's a nice late touchdown. You're still losing, but you have a chance. It's under two minutes to go. You never know what's going to happen. 
make the other team keep playing. That's what you did. Lining up now for the two. We talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. They had to go for two. They pull it off. And we've got a tie game late in the fourth. Every coach has two-point conversion plays on that call sheet. And the offensive coordinator that time dialed up the right one. Rams a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. First and ten. Tate's taking the handoff. Run it right. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just put his big butt right into the ground. The Texans have saved all three of their timeouts for here in the fourth quarter. Nowadays, it's getting harder and harder to play this tight man-to-man -man coverage because you're not even allowed to touch these, these superstar wide receivers. First and ten. Secure. Ball is out. This one's going back the other way. The defense comes up with the big play. The hit and the recovery of the football. Uh, they sure did. They got so much speed on the defensive side, and that speed, when you think about it, it gets more people around the football. It helps you deliver the hit even harder, and that's why they got the turnover. Great job. First down and 10. Jeremy Macklin makes the grab. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time... The play action faked by the quarterback was so good, the defense didn't even see that he still had the football. He throws it down there for a nice completion. Complete. The tackle is made. Well, the offense is down here in the red zone or the green zone, if you like to think of money. And it's a tie game. A lot of things you can do. They love to throw it in the end zone, but maybe they'll cross them up with a run. We'll find out. The Eagles call a timeout and are left now with only one. Pressure kick coming up here. Going to be a penalty here. The kick is good. That's what happens when you try to guess the snap count. There it is. The game has come to an end. It was a good one throughout. Hotly contested right down to the wire. I'm sure it doesn't get much better than that.